All right, it's about time we get out there, you know? It's been some years I've been contemplating on doing this since um, there's a askthebuilder.com back in 2006 when I was building my first large addition for a great customer I'm still involved with. I still meet every, not as much as I should, but probably once a year. And I thought, I'm going to do that one day. And that one day never came. I got the GoPro Hero 3, used it a couple times, sat there in the box, sat in the little container that I put it in with the SD cards, the little mic, and the little cartridges, and yeah, all that stuff anyway. It just sat there and sat there and sat there, so it was like 350 bucks down the drain. I thought I was going to use it. It just wasn't the right time. For me, I got to kind of have to work up to something and feel good about it instead of just putting something out there that's not useful to somebody because I want everything that I make I want to be useful I feel like I'm a pretty good communicator when it comes to people commenting and asking questions like how do you do that I'm like usually just like right there trying to get it as fast as I can I want the information as fast as I can right now you know when I want some when I want to find out something from somebody or a manufacturer I want the answer like right now like who doesn't right we all want that right now feel good I can do it and this is what this channel is all about it's just educating and teaching people what they can do, how to do it, how to respond, be on time, and do what you can with what you have. We don't have all the high-end tools. We don't have all the Festool. We don't have all the high-end Bosch, CNC routers. It's all hand done. Like We're hand doing stuff. Right behind you, you see all this cedar right here. This is all clear cedar. We made those yesterday. Got them all smoothed out. Bob, the other guy that works with me, he's under the weather right now, but he's usually in here with me or in the field. Um, so we we got that to made this right here. I'll get a piece of it and show it to you. So Bob actually took this right here. Got some spray cement. You guys got to meet Bob. He's a cool guy. Really, really smart. So. He actually did this. So what he did was he took sandpaper, right? So I'm not gonna do it here, this is not the time for this one. But basically, I can just show you real quick. Spray that down, spray the backside of the sandpaper, right? Because all this is, this is just a fall off of this. So you put the, imagine putting the sandpaper in there and you do this, right? After, let's swing around over here. And I'll show you that tool over there. This tool right there, that's all we used, right? So you can turn it on and you kind of just go at a, at a nice steady pace so you don't create rough spots in it. This is pretty smooth. You can you can kind of feel the grain in there. You know, there's a mixed grain and a clear grain. I couldn't get 100% CVG. They didn't offer it at uh, my lumber yard. But I mean, that looks pretty good, right? It's going to be outside. We're going to clear it. So that's that. We got uh, 16 of those cut. And like I wish I could show you and you could actually feel how smooth they are. They are very, very smooth. 320 with the granite sandpaper over here. Everything's kind of dusty in the shop right now, but 320. You might be th thinking 320. Yeah, that's not going to do nothing, right? I got to tell you, 320 on this is like 220 on this regular paper that I've been using on the Bosch to just kind of get us down to where we need to be. I got 320 on that. Let's see what Bob's got on here. Yeah, he's got, everything's got granite on it right now. Just like a 220, I got a sheet right here. So this right here, it's a Norton. Norton makes this sandpaper. It's a 120. But I'll tell you that that Festool paper for the money that you, you buy it for is worth it, okay? It almost cuts as good as 220. This is only 120. So, anyway, that's what we've been using on all this. I've got it sanded down. Everything you see over there, it's all been 320 on the ends, on the bottom sides. Didn't do the top. We're putting a cap metal on top. That'll be another video. Uh, we did right here. 
I splice these together to make them 16 foot. Why? I like the look. And I couldn't get anything decent that was 16 foot long. So I decided we'll get 14s and then we'll cut them up, put them where we need six foot, 16 foot. That's the detail. That is what I had in mind there. So anyway, the channel will be just fun and exciting things like that in the field, how to, as we work, we're pretty much in the field. We're not in the shop much, but oh yeah, let's, let's see the new heater. Let's show that since that just came on, right? Here's what Bob put in. I helped Bob build this shop. I, all I did was put my labor into it. I didn't put any financial money into it, maybe some screws. Um, I think at some point we're gonna have to figure out kind of like a rental agreement because uh, he works for me, although I wanna help him out. So that's the brand new hot dog. That's a 100,000 BTU unit right there. It will heat this 20 by 20 up, and the shop is pretty small, but it is what we got to work with. Bob's still got some panels to put in. I'll obviously help him with that, and those are just barn doors we made. And there's nothing fancy here, guys. It's all pretty simple construction. Um, we're waiting on approval for the power to come in so we can wire this thing up the right way. We'll get some dust collection going here at some point. But this is Bob's shop. This is what we work with. You know, we're just we're just happy to have a out of the weather area, a heated area. There's no coolant in there. That's just heat only. 100,000 BTU. Just a place to work where we can maybe create some content, show you guys what we do, how we do it, a process. And, uh, it's fun. What we do is fun. We really enjoy it. Bob has it. A lot of experience. We'll get a biography going on him at some point. I have personally um, 15 years in the field. I've been in business since 2007. I've changed the name twice. Um, used to be a handyman company now. We're called Position Builders. We're striving to be to build to higher end clientele, and I think we can achieve that with your guys' help. You keep pushing us. We keep pushing you. Together we can rise and do some amazing things. Um, so for right now, I want to get back on the seer. We have a install date of Wednesday. And we can still have to sand all of this wood. There's still a few more outside that we got to take care of. And sand all down to 320. I just go right in at 320. This stuff is so smooth, you don't even have to go from... Probably we would start at like a... Maybe like a hundred... Probably go right to a 220, right to a 320. If I had more time, I'd probably get Festool and be up in the 600 range just because I'd like it to be as nice as possible. Uh, some of the details on this is pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, we took the time and we're just doing it right. Let me give you guys a glimpse of kind of what we got going on over here. Let's see if I can zoom in here. And we'll, go, we'll do a fly off with no drone. Check that detail out right there. So that's what we got. I don't know how close the camera will zoom in. We got these done right here. You guys can see some of that grain right there. And look at how smooth that is. Like <laughs> that's 320, guys. Couldn't get any better than that, really. I mean, you can go higher, but. It's just so it's so pretty so one post right here 16 foot long let's get this back down here one post 16 foot long 30 bucks a foot two reasons I did that I like the material and I can go right into sanding I don't have to do anything else that's why you pay the money for the nicer wood we did have some problems with the uh, we got sent out to us a little bit messed up, I would say. There's no other way to say it but messed up. They sent down wood that was uh, unacceptable to me. And for that price point, I wasn't going to pay for it. Um, this material, this right here in the shop, is probably less than material outside. I want to say this is probably $4,500 worth of material. This is what you can see, plus the corbels. That's it. You know, it's 
expensive. I, I wanted the customer to have the best that she could. And that's why I do it. It's easier for us to use. We're getting motivated. We're like, yeah, we get to go in the shop and mess with the clear cedar. Clear cedar? What? Like you're thinking, man, that's got to be some nice. It's like working with cabinet grade material, but it's going outside. And we, yes, we are going to protect it. So I hope you stay tuned. We're going to try to put out as many videos as we can. I'm doing all the editing right now. I'm going to start training my wife how to do the editing and get her on board. So maybe we can do we can do one video a week, two video a week. It all it might not be always shop time. It might be in the field, uh, but you will learn something. I do my best to respond as fast as possible. I know that from this channel, I will do fast responses. I carry my phone all the time. I like to take care of stuff like right now. I'm very OCD. So I hope uh, the journey together with you guys following and encouraging us encouraging you to do things and build something together. So right now I'm going to get back to work and cut this short. It's nice in here at 70 degrees, so I'm going to go work for a few hours and then go home and spend time with my family.